Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk and I'm reaching out to the student body. So, we are now in the Cisco Cyber Ops Associate class. I want to begin to introduce you to your course, even though you have been digging in there and looking around and completing some of the projects. What I want, want to do in this particular session is break down some of the details of the class and what it's all about. Now, I am not going into the syllabi. The syllabi is for you to read and follow the instructions. Basically, I am going to point out some particulars in this course. I will be talking about various things that make up this course. So you will hear me talk about uh, the audience for this particular course. You will hear me talk about the prerequisite for the overall course. Uh, you will hear me talk about the course description. Then I go into the course objectives, which is important because you should know your course objectives by the time you complete this course. Those objectives are what are key to making sure you understand the course material and you are skilled up. Then we will end with a bird's eye view of the course outline and then we will just walk through various things within that outline that you will learn. So with that being said, let's move into the particulars of this course and get us started. Okay, let's take a look at Cyber Ops Associate. We're gonna dig a look into the program that you are in. As you can see from the description, today's organizations are challenged with rapidly detecting cybersecurity breaches, stopping security incidents are important in this particular position. A cyber ops associate prepares candidates to begin a career working as an associate level cybersecurity analyst within security operations centers, which we call SOCs. We have teams of individuals who are given the responsibility of stopping individuals from hacking their particular organization. Going down, you see, who is this course targeted towards? The Cyber Ops Associate course is designed for students who are seeking career-orientated, entry-level security analyst skill. Targeted students include individuals enrolled in technology degree programs at institutions or higher learning and IT professionals who want to pursue a career in the security operations center. Learners in this course are exposed to all of the fundamental knowledge required to detect. Now these are critical. Detect, analyze, and escalate basic cybersecurity threats using open source tools. Now understand in our industry, we have open source tools, but we also have proprietary tools too. We're going to teach you on the open source tools so you can get an understanding and when you move into a corporation, they may have a proprietary tool that you will be using, but you have to understand the open source tool in order to be able to work with those. Okay, so what do you need? What is your prerequisite for coming into this course and being able to do this work? Basic computer and internet skills, basic Windows and Linux system concepts. Now that really doesn't say you have to know Linux or Windows. You just have to have a basic understanding of the concept. Basic understanding of computer networks, binary and hexadecimal understanding, familiar with 
Cisco packet tracing. Now, some of you have taken courses with me in my Network Essential classes. So you know all of this. You pretty much got this down. And I didn't say you perfected it or you skilled yourself up to the point where you went and set for a certification. You just need to know the basic knowledge of these particular skills. This is all you have to bring to the table. You will be eventually working towards a particular certification. Now that targeted certification is called the Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate Certification. And the concepts that you need to know before you sit for that certification is security concepts, security monitoring, host space analysis, network intrusion analysis, and security policies and procedures, which you will learn all of that in this class. As you can see from this particular outline, you don't have to come to this course with a lot of knowledge, just basic understanding of computer. Okay, so let's take a pause and move to the next thing. Let's take a look at the course description. Okay, now we have arrived at what we call the course description. And I like introducing the course description because I really appreciate the many different ways that Cisco introduces this course to students. It gives the student the opportunity to learn this course in many different ways. As you can see right here, on the first bullet point, this course is comprised of 28 modules. Embedded in each and every one of those modules are several chapters, which gives you the opportunity to break this course down by different modules, different sections, and you take your time working through the program. Also, you can see modules emphasize critical thinking, problem solving. These are tools that allow you to be able to analyze any threat actors that may attack the organization that you're working with. You will be using activities like Packet Tracer. And Packet Tracer is one of the tools that is free that Cisco offers to all individuals out there that want to learn any type of networking or security discipline. They give it to you free from Cisco website. You will have a plethora of quizzes in here that you can take and work with. Interactive quizzes, meaning that you can answer the quiz, it can be wrong, and then you can go right back and get the answer to that particular quiz to help you gain the knowledge of this particular program. So I want you to take your time and begin to actually really dig into this particular program because it has a lot to offer. So let's just read through a few of these that helps. Rich multimedia content. You will see a lot of multimedia videos in there that you'll be able to work with. Um, you see virtual environments. So you will be inside a virtual environment where you can actually do labs. And then even with the packet tracer, that's a semi-virtual environment where you will actually be doing labs and packet tracer activities. Hands-on labs that will help you do critical thinking and problem solving. And I'm going to point out these particular labs because, because I'm going to walk through these labs with you and give you help in understanding the particulars that you need to know in these particular labs. And I know some of you ask me, Professor, what should I get out of this lab? And I'm going to point that out to you. Um, a couple of more things in here. This is a curriculum, as you can see right here, the curriculum encourages students to consider additional IT education. So this is not your one-stop all program. This is the program that gets you started in the industry, but Cisco wants you to pursue higher level certifications within the discipline of IT. 
On the one hand, you're going to have packet tracer activities to do. And on the other hand, you're going to have labs to do. And you're going to hear me use a model that I learned many years ago called Lab Up. Do labs after labs after lab. Moving on, let's talk about the course objective. Cisco Cyber Ops Associate covers knowledge and skills. Let's talk about specifically what you should gain. Now, oftentimes students ask me, hey, professor, what should I take away from this course? These bullet points right here, this is what you should know leaving this course. So always back check yourself. And even I am going to back check you. I'm going to ask you, do you know how to install a virtual machine to create a safe environment for implementing and analyzing cybersecurity threats? event so you will learn how to build a virtual machine not now we're going to walk you through the course then at the end of the course we're going to build this out for you explain the role of the cyber security operation analyst in the enterprise environment so this course gears you towards working in the enterprise environment explain the Windows operating system features and characteristics needed to support cybersecurity analysis. So you, we will teach you some understanding of the Windows operating system features. Explain the features and characteristics of the Linux operating system. We will teach you some of the characteristics of the Linux operating system. Analyze the operation of network protocols and services. In some of your first labs, we will begin to give you an understanding of what we call network protocols and network services. Explain the operations of the network infrastructure. What is a network infrastructure? Giving you a basic understanding of that. Classify the various types of network attacks. What types of attacks, what way do hackers tend to attack organizations? So we want to classify these so you have an understanding of how you are being attacked. Use network monitoring tools to identify attacks. So we need to begin to use these various tools so you can begin to identify how you being attacked. You will learn the same tools that hackers use. <laughs> so you will be able to stop their attack. Okay, moving on. Explain how to prevent malicious access to computer network hosts and data so we want to stop these malicious actors malice actors uh all of these type of characters who want to invade our networks um so we got a host of things and i'm not going to read them all step by step but we got a host of things that you need to begin to understand and you will be able to practice this in your own home so you can start protecting your devices better like take a look at this explain how to investigate endpoint vulnerabilities and attacks is your system secure how can you prevent people from attacking your own system and once you can practice those skills then you can move on to making sure that enterprise environments are protected. So make sure you understand these particulars because this is what I would always ask a student. Do you know this? Can you explain this? And if you look at it, it's explain, 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 analyze, explain. So when you're talking about explain, it's just basically you have an understanding of how someone will be attacking you.